Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to greet you through this short video from Finland. Uh, I'm Seija Mahlamäki Kultanen. I'm the Dean of HAMK University of Applied Sciences Teacher Education uh, Unit. And I'm here supporting and greeting you through a short video telling about the latest development in the Finnish education system and also teacher education. In this workshop later you will be hearing experiences from Finland from alumni of a program called The Teachers for the Future, which was a success story between Brazil and Finland. Uh, vocational and technical education. My own background is in research and teacher education and this is why I am shortly reflecting on what we are going to do uh, to develop our educational system even further. Early childhood education is something to start from. In the Finnish context, we truly believe that children should also play. They should play and learn joyfully together. So when we introduced early childhood education and started to develop it, we didn't forget that a child is always a child. However, the basics of learning need to be supported early on and we are especially courses of taking care of those who are having difficulties at home, who don't get the necessary support for their well-being and general health. So the holistic attitude and approach to early childhood education is something I would like to bring forth in this case. In our country we have the requirements for early childhood education teachers quite high. They need to be bachelors. They include into their teams also people who are having the vocational secondary level education. But the target is that we will increase the amount of bachelor level graduates in early childhood education. Let's go then to the basic education which is maybe the most uh, reflected globally. Everybody knows about the PISA results and, and comparisons between countries, but uh, maybe we should talk also about other issues than only competing with other countries in PISA. The latest reforms in early, sorry, in basic education have been encouraging the digitalization of learning and this is why our Minister of Education appointed mentors uh, in each school to support their peers, teachers in learning and using digital tools. This is one of the quite nice things which we have been doing. The other thing is that we have made learning foreign languages um, more pleasant for the kids in a way that it started earlier than it used to be. We have pilots, it's not obligatory yet, but we have pilots around the country where they started very early to learn foreign languages and also learning other languages than only English and Swedish, which in our bilingual country is a necessity. This is something very interesting and new. And you already might know that we have some phenomenon-based teaching in our basic education curriculum. And here the emphasis is on some. Uh, some foreign media has told that we have abolished totally subject-based teaching, which is not the true truth. So then let's continue to the secondary level. Reforms are going there too, both in general education as well as vocational upper secondary education. I start with vocational, where we typically have 
about half of our basic education graduates. They continue to the vocational route. And from there they can continue up to universities of applied sciences or to universities. So both routes are open. We have started a unified model in vocational education since the beginning of this year. This means that the model is very flexible because it needs to fit the needs of young school leavers and also adults who want to study and who maybe have had difficulties in the world of work. It might be that their older profession is not valid anymore. Digitalization is making very good things, but it also is abolishing old jobs. And then we need to support adults so that they can very quickly adapt a new job, new requirements, and then go back to the world of work. We also receive foreigners, immigrants, who might lack the knowledge and understanding of our language and culture. And then there we need very flexible models to learn and accredit uh, prior competencies and skills and then quickly enter the labor force. It supports us all to keep a unified society, coherent, supportive society. These were maybe the highlights. Then I will go to general education in the secondary level, where we also are going to restructure very traditional models which we have had in the system um, quite long time. Modernization, digitalization of the uh, tests before we can graduate A-levels, they are the very important reforms. And the aim is also that we should avoid over-testing students so that they should be motivated and meaningful, having meaningful learning tasks in the general education as close as possible to their realities and not only theoretical issues. Some people have been worried over the young people's interest in mathematical uh, subjects and that is something which has been brought into discussion and it is also relevant in this presentation. I, I guess that most of people are nowadays talking a lot about technology, ECT, and we don't talk so much about the basic sciences like mathematics, physics. However, they are needed and we need to develop new ways of teaching young people and also adults who face these technological changes and must understand their backgrounds and basics more deeply than they used to do. Quite many reforms are going and if I go still to the highest level our higher education system, in there we are seeing many rapid restructurings and also mergers. Finland is a small country with five million people. However, we are uh, having extremely different uh, regions. Uh, some of them lack uh, resources relatively and they have quite few inhabitants. They need to maybe develop different systems to uh, provide higher education to each citizen than, for example, in the city of Helsinki, our capital, and the cities surrounding Helsinki. So in there we need to develop different networks between the universities and businesses so that the universities can develop businesses to flourish in different contexts and areas and regions in a small country. Then all this, what I have been telling, seems to be a huge challenge and in the Finnish 
context and in the Finnish way we will never do it only with the help of administration and changing some regulations. A very strong supportive uh, instrument is always our professional teacher. Um, if I say much of the professional teachers, because we have a high, highly educated teaching staff, managers who can make the change and who are actually the only ones to make it happen. They don't do it just like that, just like clicking, but we have organized several programs to support teachers in all those levels. I already mentioned the basic education mentoring system. It's also valid in some vocational education institutions. And in OPEC project we are developing teacher education from early on, from basic education to the latest years before retiring because we need to support all the teachers, especially those who are working in the institutions and who are not in our university to enter the teaching staff. So it's a huge, interesting and networked challenge. The vet teachers for the future, alumni can tell you more about the program they were going through. It is an example of the same principles we are dealing and using in the Finnish teacher education programs. They might be in some cases shorter and of course because we are talking about teachers in the Finnish educational institutions they, they can more easily reach us. Anyway we still believe that it's best to learn besides your own work, and it's much more typical that we teach educators, we go to the institutions, or we support teachers in their learning through e-learning tools. They are developing so fast, and they are so handy nowadays, that communication is almost like face-to-face, -face, although it is uh, digital. I hope that also our communication through this video feels from your side as authentic as possible and I wish you a very successful workshop and conference and also good luck to your work in your own institutions and universities. Thank you.